what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here hello welcome my name is Megan I make videos and sometimes they're good in today's video I am doing a holiday glam look as you can see right here I did a little reverse glam on my eyes I did some cut creases I haven't done a tutorial in a really long time and this is actually my first talk over tutorial in a very long time as well so you guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below if you like this style of video if not, I won't do it again, but if you do, I'll keep doing videos like these. In today's video, I got to use this amazing new collection that I got from ColourPop. It's not new by any means. It's their monochromatic collection. I got it during their Black Friday sale. It's the Dream Big Vault, and you get all six of their monochromatic um, eyeshadow palettes. So I got to use two of the palettes out of this, this collection today, and I got to use the Just my luck palette which is the green palette and the main squeeze palette so i'm sure you've seen these palettes before they're all over the internet and they're really really great palettes as you can see i got some really great looks out of them today and i did get to use the holiday color from the um, jeffree star mystery box if you haven't seen that video i did just put it up on my channel this week so i'll link that down below for you guys and if you haven't entered my giveaway yet, please do so. It ends on December 23rd. So it's ending very, very soon, but there is still time left to enter. So go do that. As always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys when we do the makeup. <laughs> All right, welcome to voiceover, Megan. That just likes to touch her face, apparently. Um, I Like I said in the intro, I am using the Dream Big Collection, which is the monochromatic collection of ColourPop palettes. You get every color in the rainbow, and here is me struggling to open the set that came in the mail. <laughs> I love this set because you get every color that you could possibly need and I actually do really want to do a series with this. So just to start off the look, I am priming my eye with the P. Louise base. This is the shade 0.5. I just use one that's my skin tone for this, but I do have the other colored ones as well if you want to see that in a future tutorial. I'm starting off with the main squeeze palette, which is the red on a pencil brush, and I'm just using their main red color to map out the shape of the eye that I want. And I'm just kind of just very carefully doing that because I want it to be very precise. And don't worry about if it's sloppy right now. It will get better looking later. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to the other eye and the Just My Luck palette. And I'm just using, again, the main green from that palette and mapping it out with a shader brush. Using a smaller, more compact brush for this is a lot easier to get the clean lines that you want. And now it is time to blend. This is that color that I originally used. You only really use one to two colors in this entire look. You need a re really good red and a really good green. And then you can even use that same crease shade on the opposite lid, as you'll see later in the video. I use some different ones. I use more sparkly ones, but that's totally personal preference. So I'm just blending it out really good. And then I'm going to cut my crease. I did find this really cool trick on Instagram where you can use a like oil-based makeup remover, eye makeup remover on a Q-tip to help make an easier clean line on your cut creases and this actually really has helped me a lot recently. It helps me get cleaner cuts, it helps me get everything blended a little bit better in the crease and then it really helps the pigment on the eye stand out as well. So it really is just an overall nice benefit rather than just using your concealer or eye base right away to cut the crease. After I completed the same thing on the other eye, then I went in with my P. Louise base, again the shade 0.5, and I just go along and clean up the edges. And I'm going to do this on both eyes, and you can see that I'm stamping it in very carefully. I want it to be very precise. I don't want any extra concealer to get onto my red color. I want it to stand out very well that it is a sharp cut. Next up, we are going to use that same red shadow to wing out a line to connect to the upper crease. This is a step that I actually got inspired from Nikki Tutorial's most recent tutorial for Christmas, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. And of course, same thing on that other eye. 
Now for the fun part. You're going to pick a green shade. You can use the same, again, the same one from the other crease. However, I picked a lighter, more kind of sparkly green. I really thought this stood out against the red, so that's why I went with this color, but you can choose any green you want for this look. And then you're just going to fill in um, that entire cut out part that you made earlier. And it's really going to make the green pop by doing this after you do it with the makeup remover and the base. And once again, same thing on the other eye, just with the red base. I originally didn't think this um, brush worked too well to get the red on there, so I ended up switching brushes to another Morphe brush, and I that one worked a whole lot better. Using a flat brush in this case is the best way to get good pigment, or even your finger. However, you can't get too close, close to the line. Moving right along, we're going to go ahead and prime, and today I used the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk, and the Tarte Quench Primer. And then I followed that up with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I did about four pumps of it. You're gonna need about four pumps to get a good full coverage. And then I went ahead and blended that out with my Morphe Y6 brushes from that Gilded Collection. That was out a while ago. I know it was Laura Lee's like favorite foundation brush forever. Um, and I do end up liking to finish this foundation with the sponge. Some foundations you can get away with using a brush right away. Some you need to use a sponge after to get rid of the streaks. So that's what you can see me doing right here. Next, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Boeing Cakeless Concealer. A tip for this concealer, don't apply both eyes at one time. It will dry out very quickly. I found in this video and then in the next look that I ended up filming, it just blended so much better if I waited to, you know, blend it out. No, waited to apply it both sides. You guys know what I mean. Now it is time to bake. I just went ahead and used my Jeffree Star translucent setting powder to bake my entire face as I do most every day. I love that setting powder. If you haven't used it, you should try it. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and chisel out the cheekbones because I don't have any with my Hoola bronzer. This is a recent love for me. I never used Hoola before this, and I have recently fallen in love, and I'm very happy with it, and I think everyone should try it. Um, so I'm just using that on a Luxie brush before I go ahead and bronze with my Laura Mercier Sheer Press Powder. This one is actually a face powder. I just got it in a few shades darker than my skin tone. And it gives me a nice golden hue that I love. It makes me feel like I'm tan and not so pale like a vampire, like everyone in my family points out to me. Speaking of family, you should check out my video with my little brother that I just put up. Next, I'm using the Baked Mineralized Blush from MAC Cosmetics. This is in the shade Sweet Enough. I have been loving the heck out of this blush lately, using it literally every day. And I think it would be gorgeous on Bride, so everyone should check it out. Um, you can find it at Ulta. Yeah. Next, I'm using Jaclyn Hills Highlighters, the talk of the town right now. These highlighters are amazing. I got every single formula, and I've been using every formula in my daily life, and let me just say, they're pretty amazing. I am using the yellow, the lightest highlighter right here. I find that that works best with my skin, um, although the other uh, colors are very, very beautiful as well. And then I did get to use my holiday mystery shade from the Jeffree Star mystery box in this video too. I'm in love with the shade and I hope you guys are too. And that wraps up the makeup. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this look. I know I really enjoyed making it. I haven't gotten to t do a look like this in a very long time. Um, so I'm really, really happy that I got to sit down, do some makeup, and I actually got to do, how, do it how I like to do my makeup too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.